Clap your hands and say, Jesus. Please, can you just greet at least three people as you will come to church? Tell them this is another day that the Lord has made. Another day the Lord has made. Welcome to church. This is another day that the Lord has made. This morning, God bless you. The last time I saw the twins, I was this short. <laughs> the twins are always taller than me now. <laughs> we give glory to God. Let's celebrate God for that. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, <clears throat> testimony time. <laughs> testimony time. Um, this is another day to testify to the goodness of God. I don't know if there's anyone with a testimony to the glory of God. Wonderful. We missed you all. Okay, Sister Della, number one. Number two. Have you cooked a miracle like you normally say? Normally said I'm cooking a tea. <laughs> I'm praying for the team. <laughs> okay, I'm going to the miracle. Let's share the goodness of God. Then you can testify at the house. Don't let it go. Number one. Okay. Let's have one. You have a testimony? Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, there's a lot of battles seen and unseen that. I'm sure everyone is dealing with, but uh, we need to testify in victory. Um, so the unseen that is going on, um, testifying that God has won the battle. Amen. Even though life is the way life is. Uh, but we always sing the song of uh, Count Your Miracles. Um, it's about my first child, so it was seven on Friday, um, and when you know we had him during his pregnancy, and all of the complications from A to Z, I pretty much had it. Um, even after I had him, it felt as if you know I was super hero. And then the following day, I just went down. And they had to like take me back into the scans and MRI to see if they left something inside me. You know? Um, so basically, we spent about seven days in the hospital for having a baby, which is like over the top. Typically, people spend three to four days. So, and Growing up, having children was kind of, it wasn't seen in my future, so to speak. So it wasn't really seen in my future due to the genetic makeup of who I am. And then to go through that with my first baby of, you know, mountains of complications and to be discharged a day before his naming ceremony and now it's seven. It's wow. a lot. God is good. Father, we give you praise. You know, when we were singing that song, A Million Little Miracle, that song really touched me too. Sometimes we are expecting the big miracle. But we don't think of the little millions, not even a million, every breath that we breathe in and breathe out is a miracle. Amen. Amen. If you count the miracles you've had today alone, mm -hmm. some of them you don't even see. Mm -hmm. Celebrate God. Is there anyone that wants to share of another one million out of the million miracle? Anybody? Okay. 
I'm thinking of a million little miracles I've received as well. So, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Well, uh, my testimony is um, a bit short, but I just want to thank God for, uh, for His mercy upon her life, for my family. Um, yeah. I mean, if I was to be a this place, it's just so much in our life. I mean, from day one, it's been so great toward me and my family. Mm -hmm. mm. It's been keeping us alive. No sicknesses, nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, what else can I say? Mm. Just all this give thanks to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. What shall we say to the Lord? Praise the Lord. Thank you. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Celebrate mm -hmm. Jesus. And one more, okay? In and out, two more. <laughs> Let's have amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor. Um, so, where well, I am really thought about this, uh, uh, yeah. Um, so, this week, uh, it turned one year for me, isn't it? Wow. wow. since I've been here, mm -hmm. and um, I just thank God, you know, because back then, like, I've had people call me from home, like where I used to work, uh, the country firm that I used to work with, work for, back, back, back home, Deloitte, is pulling out of Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. and people, they call me and say, you got out right, right, at the right time, yeah. wow. <laughs> like, just at the right time, because, yeah. Now they were asking me, how do we come to where you are? Uh, what, what, what's, what's the process? How did you know? And everything else. And then I was like, you know, it's it's just just about the grace of the Lord. Yeah. Um, that, uh, yeah, that is so happened. And um, I just began to think about it. Like, there are so many things, like what you've been saying. Like, uh, there's so many things maybe that you don't realize at the time. Yeah. Like, why they happen. Or how they, but then there are small miracles that happen yeah. in, in mysterious ways. And... Uh, just as we are talking as well around that, I, I, I thought of a miracle that happened to me. Um, that happened a long time ago, but I never got a chance to actually thank God for it or to, to, to speak about it. Yeah. Like some time ago, um, um, uh, before I came here, uh, this was just a month or two before I came here, I had an accident where my car completely got like crushed, like got squashed like, wow. like this wow. and then I came out of it with only a cut on this finger, a, a, a bottle cut wow. like everyone who, who passed through was asking how did you say that? Wow. I myself don't know how I survived like, like I really know uh, but I realized that I never thank God for that and uh, it is something that I should have testified about mm -hmm. that um, I feel yeah, maybe this is the right time to testify about it. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Um, my testimony is, is probably you probably might not think it's a miracle, but for me it is. Um, this year has been an absolute bumper year, product wise. Um, like I've just got so much product in my garden, so like grapes, tomatoes, stuff like that. I'm thinking, wow. <laughs> So I know that's the Lord. It's like I keep thinking of Pharaoh's dream of the seven fat cows and the seven fat corns and thinking, oh, what is the Lord preparing us for? So I just give thanks to the Lord because it's him that makes the, the, the fields grow and the trees grow fruit. So I've just had such an amazing crop and I just praise the Lord. Wow. The million little celebrate Jesus. That is great. Every testifier you've really received a million of little miracle. Mm -hmm. I remember I had discussions with Amen. He told me that he pulled out of Deloitte in yeah, Zimbabwe, he went to US, yeah. he didn't like US, and then, you know, redirected himself to New Zealand. Yeah. But now, look at it. The company is pulling out of the whole country. Sometimes God will just lead you in circumstances. 
Even sometimes when God takes away your slippers, don't be sad. It's got a purpose, he wants to give you a shoe. And when God delays, don't be sad as well. God is good. Let's celebrate Jesus. Before we pray, I've got a little miracle as well. Um, I really love my mom. And when my mom passed away last month, for the first week, I, didn't, I couldn't even cry. But, you know, men, there are women, men, you'll be wounded inside, but you'll be, you'll be like a man. So I was trying to be like a man. But the reflections kept on coming. But do you know the little miracle? I couldn't cry because God supernaturally comforted me. It's happened in a way that I'm not even financially buoyant to do what I would have loved to do. Even though I'm happy, because every little request that my mom makes towards our last days, I will just fulfill it. There was no need for me to change her phone. I change her phone, I will change anything that I can change around her. Because she's a woman that really sacrificed for me as a person. Praise the name of the Lord. But the little miracle is that God kept on giving me assurance, just like I said to you, that before that time I had conversations with God about she forgiving people that have hurt her, she experiencing forgiveness and knowing the Lord as her personal Savior. And the testimony were there. So I kept having that witness, she's in a better place. My little miracle. I, so I couldn't cry supernaturally. Not that I don't want to cry. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, the burial will be like about two weeks, but miraculously too, God has been provided. My little miracle. Clap your hands and celebrate Jesus with me. Uh, we've lost one hour, so welcome to win that little by little. <laughs> but we want us to, this month of April, God specifically spoke to me that as a church, we should declare favor. But the first dimension of favor that God led me to speak about, I've never thought of favor that way in a deeper sense. So we're going to be praying for favor for ourselves. We're going to be praying for favor for our families. We're going to be praying for favor for the church. Please, church, if you rise up with me and read Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, one of the reasons the early church succeeded was favor. Hallelujah. One of the reasons the early church succeeded was favor. And in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, in verses 41 to 47, we saw the testimony of God's favor. I want you to make up your mind that this morning you're going to pray for favor for the church. Don't you think our church needs favor? When God favors our church, I can tell you, even this auditorium will not be enough Amen. to hold our services. Right. I've seen churches transformed by the favor of God, not because the pastors can pray. Praise the name of the Lord. We even do healing and deliverance. There are churches that don't even do those things. Yet the favor of God is upon those churches. When you see a man, a family, or a life that God favors, they will tell you, it is not even my effort sometimes. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's look at verse 41. It says, Then, let's read together if you could. Then, are you there? Acts chapter 2, verse 41. Acts chapter 2, verse 41. Want to go? Then, they that gladly received the word were baptized, and the same day were added unto the then about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and breaking of bread, and in prayers, and fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles, and all that believed were together and had all things come, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to men, to all men, as every man had need. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God, 
and having favor with all the people, with all the people. One of the prayer points is that God, this church that is about five, six months old, God will give us favor in this land. And when God answered our prayer, we will all see it. If you have lack favor in your businesses, people that don't know you will give you jobs. Amen. That is favor. Amen. And the Lord had dealt to the job daily, such as should be saved. So we are going to pray for favor. Favor. Let's begin to worship the King of Kings. Can hold somebody's hand for strength? Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you adoration. Thank you for the privilege to pray. Thank you, Father, for the privilege to pray. Thank you, Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you because we have the gift of life. Thank you because we have the bread of life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And our prayer point will be, Lord, we declare. Say, we declare and declare. We declare. For favor. I said for favor. In the name of Jesus. For this church. In the name of Jesus. We declare and declare your, your we receive grace and favor for as members of fresh anointing. In the name of Jesus. Can we begin to pray? We declare and declare favor, 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 favor. Favor, 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 pray for favor, pray for favor. Lord, we declare and declare for every member of this church. Let there be favor, let there be favor, let there be favor, let there be favor, let there be favor. Favor, favor. Do you know how I always also pray for favor with flavor? Favor with flavor. Father, we declare and declare over every member of this church. Favor, 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 favor. Can we decree and declare over all of our careers, all of our businesses, all of our children, all of our spouses? Favor, 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 favor upon the men in this church. Favor upon the women in this church. Favor, 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 favor as we travel. Favor, 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 favor as we drive around. Favor, 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 favor as we fly. Favor, 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 whatever dimensions of you know life that we found ourselves. We pray for favor, 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 favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Say the name of Jesus. We receive grace for every member of this church to publicize the church. In the name of grace and favor, grace and favor, grace and favor upon every member of this church to publicize the church. We receive grace and favor upon every member of this church to publicize the church. Let your grace and favor rest upon us as a church to publicize the church. Yes, 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 yes. Grace and favor, grace and favor. We receive even grace and favor by the ministry of angels to publicize the church in the city. Lord, we receive Grace and favor, grace and favor, grace and favor, grace and favor in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, we receive grace and favor to protect our church. In the name of Jesus, we receive grace and favor to protect this church. In the name of Jesus, from the enemy within, we receive grace and favor to protect this church from the enemies without. We receive grace and favor. To protect the church. Favor, favor and grace, favor and grace, favor and grace, favor and grace, favor and grace. In the name of Jesus, say in the name of Jesus, we receive grace and favor to provide for the church. We receive grace and favor, grace and favor, grace and favor, grace and favor to provide for the church. Yes, 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 we receive grace and favor to provide for the church. Let grace and favor be given to us. Sir. Let grace and favor be given to us to provide for the church. We're going to pray number five. We receive grace and favor as members of the church to pop up the pastors. In the name of the five prophetic God the bishop gave us, we receive grace and favor in the name of Jesus to pop up the pastors. Yes, 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 yes. Lord, I will not be a caterpillar in this church. I will be a pillar. Lord, I will not be a caterpillar, but I will be a pillar in the name of Jesus. We receive grace. We receive grace for pillars, 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 pillars in the church, not caterpillars. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Look at prayer point number six. Say in the name of Jesus. We receive favor as a church. 
that the people of New Zealand and the people of Christ Church will receive God's word through us. Yes, 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 yes. yes. yes In verse 41, he said, Did that gladly receive the word? Say, In the name of Jesus. That's another thing. We receive grace. Say, In the name of Jesus. We receive favor as a church. That the people of New Zealand and the people of Christ Church will receive the word of God. As the word of God through us. In the name of Jesus, as we teach and multiply in the community study group, they will receive the word of God from us. As we preach and, and pray for the people on Sundays, they will receive the word of God from us, through us. In the name of Jesus, favor, favor, favor. Let the people of Christ Church, let the people of New Zealand receive the word of God from us. In form of favor, 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 favor. In Jesus' name we will pray. So they that gladly receive his word were baptized, and the same day were handed unto them about 3,000 souls. Say in the name of Jesus, we receive favor as a church that the people of New Zealand and the people of Christ Church will be handed to the growth of our church daily in every service. In the name of Jesus, we are praying those scriptures. Say we receive grace as a church that every service we will receive, we will receive people from the city, every service we will receive people from the from the country. Every service, the people will be added to our church. We will be saved in the name of Jesus. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We receive that grace. We receive that favor. We receive that grace. We receive that favor. We receive that grace. We receive that favor. In Jesus' name we pray. In verse 42, it says, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking on prayer and in prayers. Say we receive favor as a church that the people of New Zealand and Christ Church will continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, teaching through us as a church in the name of Jesus. That means people will be disciples when they get born again. People will live the Christian life when they come into our midst. Can we begin to pray that prayer for us? Yes, yes, you will receive favor as a church that the people of New Zealand, the people of Christ Church will continue when they join us steadfastly, not in our own doctrine, but in the apostles' doctrine, in the apostles' teaching, as we teach them, as we remind them, through us as a church. Yes, 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 yes. We receive that favor, we receive that favor, we receive that favor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And the church will say amen. amen. One last prayer. Psalm 41, verse 11. This is not part of it. But I want you to pray for the person whose hand you are holding. Hallelujah. Now, what is the dimension of God's favor that I'm teaching about this morning? That favor will fight for you. Have you ever thought of it? That favor will, can fight for you. When you are represented and, not when, and when you are not even represented, that favor will just fight for you. Let me tell you something. Favor can become an angel and fight for you. Favor can become somebody that I've never even seen your face before, had your name before, and fight for you. Favor can become a human being that I've never known you for one second, yet because your case came before that person, and the person will be, you see, let me give you a testimony. A dear sister, so many years ago, went to one of the best universities in Nigeria, and she looked for a job. You get the university she went, University, so some of you from Nigeria, she went to the University of Ife, one of the best universities in the studied education, and for years she couldn't get a job. And then one day, she used to sell big cake. Can you imagine? There's some universities in Nigeria you don't go to, and then you don't get a job. Because people believe people who go to those kind of universities are intelligent. But one day, she just told her husband, she's going to apply to the Ministry of Education for an inspectorate job. She knew nobody and she applied. Come on, say favor. And uh, the letter got to the table of the person that will attend to it, and the person read it, read her appeal, and said, What does say? Am I, am I the one that gives job? And right there, the person squeezed the letter, threw it into the doorway. And as the person was squeezing the letter, like throwing it to the dustbin, somebody who is superior who could give her job stepped in. Naturally, the person shouldn't be curious about a 
skin of Rebecca, somebody is throwing into the dustbin, but because favor wants to fight for her, she got interested in what was thrown into the dustbin, picked it up and read it. The sister got a job. I thought you would clap your hands and say, Hey, Jesus. Favor will fight for you. I said, Man, you cannot be represented. Favor will fight for you. He said, By this I know that thou favorest me. Because my enemy does not triumph over me. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over the life of my brother and over the life of every member of this church. Let favor fight for you. Let favor fight for you. Let favor fight for you. Let favor fight, especially where you cannot be represented. Where you cannot be represented. Let favor fight for you. Let favor fight for you. Let favor fight for you. Let favor fight for me. Let favor fight for us as a church. Father, let favor fight for us. Let favor fight for us. Let favor fight for us. Favor of God take over my fight. Favor of God take over my fight. Favor of God take over my battles. Favor of God take over my battles. That's another prayer for. Favor of God take over my battles. Favor of God take over my fight. Favor of God take over my battles. Favor of God take over my struggles. Favor of God take over my impossibilities. Favor of God take over my limitations. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you for fighting our battles for me. Jehovah Olubeja. Do you know the song? I know you don't know it. Say thank you Lord for fighting my battles for me. I say Lord thank you for fighting my battles for me. Lift up your hands and worship me. In, a, in, in, in faith that God has fought your battles for you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In 2 Samuel chapter 22, quickly, before you sit down, we'll read verses 1 to 25, and then you sit down, we'll read verse 1 to 25 together. Are you ready? 2 Samuel chapter 22. Let's read together. Want to go. And David spake unto the Lord the word of this son in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my rock. In him will I trust. He is my shield and the heart of my salvation. My high tower and my refuge, my savior, thou savest me from violence. I will call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies when the waves of death come past me. The floods of ungodly men make me afraid. The sorrows of hell come past me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my God. And he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the heart shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured. Coals were kindled by it. Just for God to fight for me, David was saying. Verse 10, he bowed the heavens also and came down, and darkness was upon his feet. And he rode upon a pale roof and did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made darkness pavilion round about him, dark waters, and thick clouds of the skies. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled just to fight for me. The Lord turned out from heaven. Let's read on. And the Lord eye uttered his voice, and he sent out his arrows and scattered them, lightning and discomfited them. 
and the channels of the sea appeared. The foundations of the world were discovered, and the rebuking of the Lord at the blast of the breath of his nostril. He said from above, He took me, He drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them that hated me. For they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the door of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my heart, as he recompensed me. For I kept the ways of the Lord, and have no wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and as for his statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him, and have kept myself from my iniquities. Therefore, the Lord hath recompensed me according to my righteousness and according to the cleanness of my in his high sight. Say, I believe and confess. As I have done the word of God today, say, my mind will be fruitful, my spirit will be alive, my spirit will be alert. Say, my understanding will produce result, my life will not be the same again. I will be blessed, I will be transformed. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Have your seat in the presence of the Lord. All this that we have read in 2 Samuel chapter 22 is about David triumphing over his enemies. Look at our text, Psalm 41 verse 11. Psalm 41 verse 11. Look at our text again. Psalm 41, verse 11. Psalm 41, verse 11. Read it with me. So when you read Psalm 22 and see all the descriptions of how David overcame his enemy, look at this, read it together. By this I know that thou favors me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. So that's why this morning I just want to encourage you for the few minutes that we have in the service. And I want you to turn to your right and speak from your heart to that person and say, Fear not. Fear not. God's favor, God's favor. Will, fight for you. will fight for you. Now turn to your left and speak from your heart sincerely. Say, Fear not. Fear not. God's favor, God's favor. Will, fight for you. will fight for you. You know, I saw. I've been posting on the church platform. I don't know if you have been reading the devotional from Bishop Etiola. But when the Lord was speaking to me about this teaching, I picked up the devotional for that day, which was for Friday. And I saw that. Do you know, some of us, we live in fear of the enemy. And we think sometimes that it is what you do that don't allow the enemy to attack you. Look at me. I'm not somebody that I'm an own boy. You know why I became an own boy? My mom. Because when I was growing up, she looked for a boy until after three baths, and then she had a boy. And so she attached. I grew up as if I was growing up in the midst of enemies. There are houses I cannot eat. My mom is a, some of this, some of you know, my mom is a naked woman. And when you, when we go out like this and you are happy that you are going to party, to eat, the moment you get to the party and my mom change her eye, a naked woman change her eye and use her eye to speak to you. If you eat that food, you are in trouble. <laughs> you eat the food, quite all right. When you get home, you will not eat another food again. So I do not perceive is everybody trying to kill me? I don't know how many of you grew up that way. That you think everybody is a witch. While I am not saying that there are no enemies. Because right there as I was growing up, I even saw family members come into my dad's house and drop chants that we pick under the chairs. So the attack were real. But 
It is not my most prayer of righteousness that kept me. God kept me. Amen. I said God kept me. Amen. Some of you have similar story. It is not your prayers or the prayers of your mom that kept you. His favor also fight for you. Fought for you. Saying this lady, this young man, I have something to do with his life. The enemy cannot just waste it. Come on, say, favor will fight for you. So I've got to diffuse your mindset that as much as you are understanding of spiritual warfare and shouldn't be negligent of the enemy, come to a state of faith that even when you don't pray, God's favor is fighting for you. Hallelujah. So speak to the second place. Say, to the people if they say, fear not. God's favor will fight for you. Can you fight? Can you imagine the enemies that David fought? And yet, David did not die in the hand of an enemy. Did you hear me? I don't know if you know that David slept and never woke up again. I don't know how many enemies you have been programmed to fight all of your life, but you will not die by the hand of an enemy. David said, because of God's favor, I triumphed over all my enemies. Look at Psalm, before I read this uh, devotional for you, read Psalm 5, verse 12. I wish you could memorize, say, but this I know that thou favorest me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. Look at this one, I love this one, I love this one. Let's read it together, church. It says, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor without compassing about with a shield. Hallelujah. Do you know what it means? You are protected by the shield. Now, let me read this devotional for Friday by Dr. A. W. Chola. said, arrested in transit. Everybody say arrested in transit. And then as he journeyed, he came near Damascus and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven and he fell and he fell to the head and had a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? During the Gulf War, the United States and Allied forces used what was known as the patriotic missile, how many of you remember that? Mm -hmm. Interceptor. Yeah. It had the capacity of intercepting and destroying enemy missiles while flying towards their target. Multitudes were saved by this piece of defensive warfare equipment. God had his own missile interceptor. Clap your hands and celebrate Jesus. Some people believe witches fly. Witches do fly. They shoot arrows. But God has his own missile interceptor. Amen. Don't live your life being conscious of the enemy. Deployed the day Paul was back on a destructive mission. A light from heaven shone on him and intercepted him as he journeyed to waste the church of the living God. Not only was the mission aborted, the experience led to his changing masters. From that day, he became a missile for the Lord. Hallelujah. I have heard of many accounts of how flying witchcraft both in Africa have ended up dropping from the air, here and landing on the ground as human beings. How many of you have heard those stories? Yeah. All over Nigeria, sometimes people will just you just see one whole woman be beaten to Paul. And people will be convinced that it was a God that landed on the floor that came to human beings. Look at what Bishop said. He said, I have pictures in my possession to prove the validity of that. God simply intercepted these agents of Satan on their wicked journey. Was it your prayer? I said, was it your prayer? Fear not. Everybody say, fear not. Child of God, he that watches over you neither slumber nor sleep. Hallelujah. When you get to heaven, you will find out how many enemies 
arrest and intercession, God has carried out on your behalf. Amen. Just keep on praising God for a spiritual missile interceptor. Deployed on your behalf, they never miss the target. No weapon fired your way shall prosper. Clap your hands and celebrate it. Say, 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 fear not. God's favor will fight for you. In life, we pass through many toys. We pass through many wars, many dangers, many fears. Just like David. Can you imagine David? He was in the field. He was afraid. Fear in the field. The fear of death. The fear of giants. And giants. How many of you know that David confronted giants? Mm -hmm. If you look at 2 Samuel chapter 23, somebody said, somebody was preaching a spiritual warfare message, and he said, do you know why David took five stones? Do you know why David took five stones? When he wanted to fight Goliath? Jesus. Oh, that is the common story we have been told, that those five stones represent J-U-S-U-S. But a cursory read through the scripture, in 2 Samuel 23, when David was giving account of his exploit in life, he said Goliath had four other brothers who were giants. <laughs> that was the answer, yeah. And you know what that preacher said? Yeah. said when he took five stones, he was ready to take on the whole family. Clap your hands and celebrate Jesus. One stone for every giant. Through the fear of giant, through the fear of the king, he was a servant to the king. He was consoling the king with his music, yet he was afraid. Fear, even living in the palace. Fear, while on the run, he was afraid. Read through the life of David. Even when he decided to rest a little while, when Saul was chasing him, he was still afraid. How many of you know that? He was afraid to the extent that at one point, the people that could informants that could tell Saul that they found him came around and said, Is this not David? You know what David did? David started speaking. I did like a madman to save himself. Even when he wanted to rest, he was even afraid. Fear all around him. At least, everybody say, At least. Seven times in David's life. And there are countless other times David should have been dead by the hands of the enemy. David should have been dead by the hands of the enemy. So when you read Psalm 41, Psalm 41, you will under, you will you will you will praise God for the life of David, and you will praise God for your own life. Let's read verse 11 again. It said, By this I know that thou favorest me, because my enemies does not triumph over me. I've come to announce to somebody who will believe me this morning, who will listen to me this morning, who will put it in his conscious mind and walk around with the acceptance that I am favored by God, God favors me, God's favor fight for me, that you will not die by the hand of the enemy. Oh, and you didn't believe me. I'm suspecting your enemy. And I said you will not die by the hand of the enemy. Yeah. I don't care the kind of family, the kind of environment you live. I don't care even where our church is planted, maybe in the city center. I don't care how many witches. Witches are all over. All over. Enemies are all over. Every church that is standing for God is under attack. But we are covered by favor. Come on, say favor. Come on, say favor. Speak to the person right to you and I say in the name of Jesus. I said, fear not. From today, because you have had me, God's favor will fight for you. Not because you are praying. Speak to the right and say in the name of Jesus. As from today, because you are hearing this, God's favor will fight for you. When David was in the field, alone with dangerous animals, in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 34 to 36, the first instance in his life that he would have been killed as a 17-year-old boy, as a 17-year-old boy, a bear and a lion, not only for the sheer danger that these two animals poses, 
but the sheer weight of those animals. The weight of a lion, the bones of a lion, and the weight of a bear, the bones of a bear, is probably four times, or three times, or two times the weight of a, an average adult. Well built man. Are you with me? Not to not talk of a 17 year old boy. You know what Teddy said? Said, I was alone in the wilderness, and a bear and a lion came to kill one of my sheep, and I took them and I read them into pieces. 17 year old boy. Come on, say, favor. favor. Hallelujah. Number two, in the war front with Goliath, only favor could have saved him. He said, I am a dog that you come to me with catapult. He said, I will kill you and I will give you to the box. And David said, no, you are not despising me. You are despising the God of hosts by whom I stand. I too will kill you. And then Goliath ran forward. If Goliath should grab David. <laughs> if Goliath should grab David. Have you watched wrestling before? And so some tiny thoughts try to challenge the giant. And they want to use the tactics of frustration and winning by crook. So they'll be running around, the giant will be looking for them. <laughs> if Goliath should grab come on, say if Goliath should grab David, the David is finished. But before Goliath got to David, he took his catapult and shot it. I know what the, the force of a bullet. So I can tell you today by the grace of God that that stone went hard with the force of a bullet. Because no ordinary stone thrown at any man can break his skull. Clap your hands and say it. Come to think of it, did David fast 40 days, 40 nights before confronting Goliath? Some of you have been fasting 40 days, 40 nights because of witches. Some of you have been fasting 40 days because you want to cast out demons. David never fasted and prayed before he confronted Goliath. That tells you favor sometimes gives you victory over your enemy. Clap your hands and say favor. <laughs> say it again. Say in the name of Jesus. God's favor will fight for you. What about in the palace when he escaped the javelin? When he escaped the spear? After he finished Goliath, killed Goliath, the women started trouble again. And they said, David has killed. Uh, Saul has killed how many? Yeah. One thousand. And David has killed ten women. <laughs> women are lies. David only killed one. <laughs> Perhaps as a warrior and as a king, Saul had even killed more, more people than David. And women said, David, you know all the people, all the women that were there. All the, I'm sure it will be mostly the unmarried ones <coughs> who were trying to wound David. So they, they, they got David into trouble. And so the Bible says, from that day, Saul hid him and hated him. And he was in the palace. And he would be walking to the kitchen to take food. And he, be, he wasn't secured again. One day, he was playing for Saul. And Saul took a spear and threw it at close range. Come on, say close range. Do you know how our brother said he came out of a crush car and didn't know how he survived? Only God could have made David to survive. Be thinking of the instances in your life that favor has fought for you. I said favor will fight for you. What of with uh, his wife, Michal, Saul's daughter? Saul told David, uh, Michal, he said, I'm going to get him. But we're not going to even talk about. You know, Saul wanted to kill him and tell him to go and take, to bring four, 200 first king of Philistines. You know what is first king? When you circumcise a man, what is removed from the private part of a young boy is called first king. So, in order for Saul to kill David, he said, because you want to marry my daughter, the dowry you will pay is 200 first king. Of Philistines. Go and study your back very well. David went with his men and brought 400 first kings. Only Favor could have done that. And then when he married the woman, David said, Tell him, I'm coming to. When you are married to a woman, 
Your death and your life is in the hand of that woman. When you are married to a man, your death and life is in the... When you are asleep, you are asleep. If your husband wants to kill you, he will kill you. If your wife wants to kill you, he will kill you. Let me tell you something. You can survive the enemy from without, but nobody can survive the enemy of a spouse that wants to kill you. That's what most times it usually happens. Do you agree with me? Those of you that are married, you know what I'm talking about. The woman knows your weakness. The man knows your weakness. But Michal did not kill David. He made David to escape and put an effigy in his place. So when the soldiers came, David had escaped. Come and say favor. favor. What about Jonathan? Is that called him and said, Look, as long as this boy, David, is at land, you will never occupy the throne. Jonathan said, I know. So when his dad said, I'm going to come and kill him, he whispered to David, my dad is coming to kill me. As a smile, David, Jonathan, removed his own hammer, made himself defenseless, and put his hammer on David. Only favor could have done that. Clap your hands and celebrate favor. I said in the name of Jesus, favor will fight for you. What about when Absalom is son? Created a coup d'etat. And that coup d'etat was so terrible, so terrible. Before he did it, he slept with all of David's concubines in the whole, in the side of the whole of Israel to despise him. And so people told David, he said, the only way, the, everyone said the only way you could survive this coup d'etat is to run out of Jerusalem. He did. That was how he was saved. But do you know what saved him? Favor. So when he was growing and he was crying, he got to a spot. And they, they told him again, they said, Haitofel. Repent, study the life of David. They said, Haitofel, the wisest man in Israel, the greatest military strategist, has also decamped into the camp of your son Absalom. And he knew. Do you know how he knew? David knew that this guy is so intelligent that any military advice, you fail to, to do it, you will not win the battle. So he stopped. Everybody said he stopped. You see, sometimes you don't have time for fasting and prayer. But you can pray to God from your heart in one minute. You know what Transpodion calls those kind of prayer? Ejaculatory prayers. It's not every time you can pray for 10 hours. But sometimes the, the, the prayer you pray for one minute sometimes can scatter an enemy that is 10,000. David just stood there and said, Lord, turn the cancel of Ahitophel into foolishness. Come and say favor. favor. Raise up your right hand. Raise up your right hand. This is the day of power. God said a name has been given to us. The name of Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, every being in heaven, on earth, under the heart, shall bow. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it from your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. Every counsel of Ahitophel against me, against my business, against my job, against my children, against my wife, against my family, against my husband, against my pastor, against this job. Lord, turn it into foolishness. In the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, say Lord, turn it into foolishness. That was all David did. That was all David did. And Ahithophel went to his Absalom. He said, I know David. And I know the kind of men that are with him. Interesting men. You know the kind of men that are with him? Disgruntled, discontented, and in debt. <laughs> I've studied the life of David so much. That's how the Bible put it. He said they were what? Disgruntled, discontented, and in debt. Men, there were 400 men that were like Adderus, like Nigerians who say. Powers. He gathered them together and they became the mightiest warrior. He said, I'm not the kind of men that are with you. Pursue your dad 
tonight. Finish him tonight within 24 hours. Because he'll be somewhere resting now with his men. And after they rested, you cannot match him in battle. So pursue him now. But because David prayed one penny prayer, turn the cancer of our interpret into foolish death. Somebody stood there and said, I know your father. If you pursue him tonight, he will be ready for you. But David was not ready for you. But because of that prayer, he said he will be ready for you. So, rather than Absalom listening to the counsel of Ahitophel, because David prayed, not the counsel of Ahitophel to finish it. Can I encourage you, not every time you have an opportunity to fast and pray to kill your enemy, pray ejaculate your prayers. So he said, don't go. And Absalom said, I'll follow this man's counsel. Because of that, Ahitophel went and killed himself. Clap your hands and celebrate. Can you say no? no? Thank you for fighting my battle spell. Look at the person as you say in the name of Jesus. Favor will fight for you. Even when you became old. Even when you became old. I'm giving you the chronicle of David's life. How favor fought for him. Somebody almost killed him in battle. But one of the soldiers just came around and saved him. And they told him, I said, no. Because we don't want you to die. I don't know who I'm speaking to today. You are so conscious of, our, of the enemy. And you thought one day, the day I die, ah, they got me. I'm saying to you, they will not get you. Amen. I'm saying to you, you will not die by the hands of witches. Amen. I'm saying to you, you will not die on a natural death. I'm saying to myself, I will not die by the hand of witches. I'm saying to myself, I will not die on a natural death. In the name of Jesus, we will not bury the young. And all day you will sleep and you will go on to be with the Lord. If you are the one I'm talking to, clap your hands and shout, Hallelujah! Come on, shout, I receive it! Why? Favor will fight for you. Life, circumstances have wasted the best of men. How I many of you have heard about Miles Moreau? As rich as he was, as blessed in ministry as he was, he had craft that took him from the airport, clashed with the pole, and was killed with his wife. I'm not saying that my Moro is favored. It's not favored. I'm saying even though you have those kind of news, as a preacher, sometimes the enemy will use the news of what happened to other preachers to tell me that you know it can happen to you. Who told you you are anointed? But I am saying that favor will fight for me. Amen. Ah, you didn't say amen. amen. Am I the only one that the enemy is saying, do you know what is happening to your enemies now? Do you know what is happening to your enemies now? They are developing this secret. They are developing this secret. It's coming for you. I am saying, I am not saying it's not happening today. I'm only saying it's God. Your favor will fight for me. If you are in my shoe, clap your hands and celebrate Jesus. Come on, say God's favor. Don't deny the reality is happening. It, is, it will happen to them. But I am saying, Lord, have mercy on me. Your favor will fight for me. Thank you for fighting my battles for me. Favor fought for him. Favor made him triumphant as I close. Favor preserved him. Favor confused the enemy. Favor Favor. He was even favored by his competitor, Jonathan. Favor protected him. Favor shielded him. And favor defended him. Let's confess those things together. Say in the name of Jesus. Favor fought. Favor begins to fight for me. Say, say favor begins to fight for me. Favor will make me triumphant. Favor will preserve me. It's not favor that is our prayer. Favor will confuse my enemy. Even when they have the best advice. Favor that will be favored by my competitors. Favor will protect me. Favor will shield me. Favor will defend me. Not because I am righteous. Not because I can pray. Not because I can fast. But because I have a God. Who never fails? I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who never.
never fails forever. Sing it again. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who never fails forever. You know the, the, the women in David's life that gave David trouble were actually true. When they said David killed 10,000. Because we're going to take that song now on the basis of the scripture that supports what they said. Women were actually true. Because the Bible says that one shall chase what? A thousand. And two shall put 10,000 to fire. We are saying, I have a God who never fails. Oh, you have God. You have God, your husband and wife. You have God, you have God, your husband and wife. You have God, you have God, your husband and wife. So when both of you see and say, we have our God, hold on. Or when all of us as a church see, we have our God, who never. How many thousands are we going to chase? More than 10,000. The multiplier, you don't want to think about it mathematically. Say, we have a God who never fails. We have a God who never fails. We have a God who never fails. Who never fails. Who never fails. Forever. In conclusion, let the knowledge of God's favor free your mind from fears, especially the fear of the enemy, with your worries and anxieties. He will feed the bed. He will clothe the lilies. He will feed you. He will feed you. He will clothe you. Before the set of clothes that you are worried about get torn, God will provide a means of replacing them. God's favor makes us triumphant, directly or indirectly, whether you are conscious of it or not conscious, asleep or awake, praying or not praying, God's favor is as work as a missile interceptor for you. God's favor fights for me. God's favor fights for me. God's favor defends you. Defend you. Only one thing though, you know what? You know the only one thing. John Gospel chapter 1, verse 2. Only one thing makes that favor to be activated. Come on, say activated. activated. Only one thing makes the favor to be activated. Rise up on your feet as we as we prepare to pray. Only one thing makes that favor to be activated. Can we read it together? John 1, verse 12. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Yes. I said, I will be really blessed. Have I encouraged you? Yes. Clap your hands and celebrate you. I'm always happy. Even if it is one person that helps. Those of you online, there are a lot of people online today. Those of you online that travel and they're watching us as well, God's favor will fight for you. Amen. Read it with me, church. This is the condition for activating the favor of God. Not even God. Don't be the pastor. Makes you to enjoy it. Read it together. But as men, and do not reject him, but receive him. Hallelujah. To them give him power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. That word sons is the generic form of human beings. So it's not only for sons, it will have been written sons and daughters of God. When you become a child of God, come on, say, when I become a child of God, I have activated the favor of God to fight for me. Are you a child of God? Or are you living in sin? If you are still living in sin, I cannot guarantee you that that favor will fight for you. But if you have become a child of God, and you are not hypocritical about it, you are not religious about it, you know that all things are passed away indeed, and all things become new. That favor, the day you took that decision, has been activated in your favor. If you are such a person, I congratulate you this morning. Begin to pray in the Spirit. Begin to confess that God's favor will fight for me. 
Yes, begin to think of all your worries. Begin to think of all your anxieties. Begin to think of all your fears. Lord, your favor will fight for me. 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 And if you are listening to me this morning, either online or you are in the service and there are, there are sins in your life, Today is not the day of judgment, today is the day of grace. Why don't you say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry for the way that I've lived. I'm sorry for turning back from you. I'm turning from, you know, yielding my heart to influences that are not of God. Please forgive me my sins and give me the grace to go and see no more. I receive you today afresh. I become your son, I become your daughter. Thank you for saving me. Begin now to pray. God's favor will fight for me. I said, God's favor will fight for me. God's favor will fight for me. Fear not, church. God's favor will fight for me. God's favor will. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. God's favor will fight for me. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah. Oh, you did Thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah. Can we get that song? Oh, you did Thank you for fighting my battles for me, Jehovah. Oh, you did Jehovah, oh, you means God, my defender. That's what it means. Say it again. Thank you for fighting my battles for me. Jehovah, Father, in the name of Jesus. It's not by power, it's not by might. Jehovah, you are our defender. And we want to appreciate you for fighting our battles for, me, for us. I just pray for everyone under the sound of my voice this morning that you will give them that yieldedness of heart, of thought, of imaginations, of expectations, consciously, even when they are letting down their guard or they are, you know, up, up in their, or um, they, 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 you know, raise their guard spiritually, that God's favor fights for me. God's favor defends me. God's favor, shield me. God's favor, protect me. I'm even favored by my competitors. God's favor confuses my enemy. God's favor preserves me. God's favor makes me triumphant. Thank you, faithful, for fighting for us. Thank you, faithful Father, for fighting for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Clap your hands and celebrate. Hallelujah. Say the name to the death that is safe here now. God's favor. God's favor. We'll fight for you. Uh, offering time, if you have been a blessing to the church during the week with your tithe and offering, we really appreciate you. I want to encourage more people to do that. And uh, if this morning you would like to do that, we ask you to release Danny. We also have envelopes here. We have envelopes here. Um, can you help us pick out the envelopes? We have two bank accounts as well. We have the ANZ and the BNZ, Fresh Anointing International Church. If you are giving this money, can I raise, see you raise up your hand? And I will pray together with you. The everlasting Father, we are just grateful for your sons and your daughters who have been obedient to bring all the tithe into the storehouse as it is written that I will meet in my house. Lord, I pray that you open the windows of heaven and bless them with abundance in Jesus' name. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Clap your hands and say, Jesus. There's an important announcement. Next week, Sunday, how many of us 
la voi de stat pentru totul Michel. Are you attending? Well, if you still intend to register, I still have a code that will even give you as much as 90... Yeah, out of 345, you only pay 17 dollars. So please, if you still want to register. But that couple's weekend to remember is something that he healed my family, healed my, my marriage, and restore our first love. So if you want to enjoy the food, or you want to, you know someone that you still want to attend, please. So next week Sunday, my point is that we are not going to be having Sunday service, because all couples are supposed to be at that weekend to remember. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you still want to register for the couples to remember, it's a Christ church here, okay, at Regis, yeah, Hotel. And to start on Friday evening, all through Saturday, and all through Sunday. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's why next week Sunday, we will not be having church service. But if you want to hear my voice, just go to Place FM, 10 a.m. You, we have a, do you know we have a radio program? So we have a radio program on Place FM, Christ Church. And the, the, the Place FM hear our teachings uh, every Sunday morning by 10 a.m. So if you want to hear my voice, go to Place FM by 10 a.m. You will hear our voice. We will be preaching on Place FM. But then we will be at the couple's weekend to remember. So the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. On the 21st, we'll be back in church by 10 a.m. And on the 28th, we have a anointing and freedom songs. God bless you. How many of us are favored today, church? Can you give your hand for the Lord? Alright, for me, I'm favored. Alright, so let's pray and ask God for favor through this week. Open your heart and pray to ask God for favor. Of those in church, and God will favor us in all we do. God will favor us in our business. God will favor us and fight our enemies, even when we are not there. Pray for God's favor. Thank you, faithful Father. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's share the grace in church, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with every one of us now and forevermore. Amen. Church, remember to invite someone the following Sunday, not next Sunday, to church. God bless you as we return to your home.